Welcome to Deep Thought. Men are looking for direction. I'm gonna tell you what, and you know, this is something I could have discussed on my men's channel, but I wanna look at it more right now from just the philosophy, the thought. A big issue right here is many men are just floating along. See, unfortunately, we don't live in a society that had a rites of passage. Um, indigenous societies, they didn't, they didn't have the technology, the machines, but their social development was very advanced. They had, uh, in places, Africa, um, the South Pacific, uh, you know, the first world, the first, uh, the first nations, would have a rites of passage for the young men. As soon as they hit puberty, they would actually be taken apart, taken away from the women, taken apart from the group, and they would actually be taught how to be a man. Indeed, in some of the, the cultures, they would even have their first sexual experience. And, you know, depending on the culture, it might have been circumcised, depending on the culture, you know, their first hunt, something to, for them to go through so they would consciously know that they are men. But we don't have that in this society. You know, it's not the, uh, you know, the high school experience. That don't really teach you how to be a man. They, really, that's propaganda. A lot of propaganda, teaching or propaganda about history and all of that, and maybe just some basics. Indeed, depending on the area, could be just a place for the kids to hang out while their parents are working. But you know what? That's another conversation. But whatever the case, you don't learn manhood in school, do you? Seriously. In high school or college, are, unless, unless something has changed, and please, please, please tell me if it has, they don't teach you how to like be an adult. They teach you just enough to get qualified really to work. Or if you want to actually learn something, yeah, they teach you that, but they don't teach you social skills. They don't teach you what it means to actually interact. They don't teach you what it means to be a man or a woman. And that's a big problem in this society. You got tiny, you know, tiny groups here and there that will actually have a rites of passage, but nothing really showing a man how to be a man. This just basically it's, it's according to the they's and what they promote, which is become a good worker. But you can be a good worker and still have a juvenile mindset. You know, on my men's channel, I talked about, you know, I feel like modern women should be, the term modern women should be replaced with little girls. I'm gonna be real. Uh, little boys can come into that too. That's, we're talking about the whole thing, the whole society. You have, that's why you have adults who still act juvenile. Adults, full adults. They might even have children that don't, well, let me stop. Let me go back for a second. Having children doesn't make you an adult. It should, but let's be real. You have men and women out here with children and it's better off if the children were raised by the grandparents. They still acting childish. They either acting like little boys or little girls. And, you know, I'm gonna tell you what, because of the situation out here, and especially there's a, uh, there really is a overall cultural direction against just pure manhood in just so many little ways. I'm not saying this lightly, as a father of two sons and actually, Talking with some women who were single mothers of sons, they see it too. Many men need that direction out here. And indeed, you know, you get some people who complain about the manosphere, but what's the manosphere really doing? It's not just talking trash about women, whether it's the white overall manosphere or the black manosphere, it's providing some direction. Now, here's an issue. Anyone can, anyone can get up there and provide it. You have young men and even some older men looking for a direction so bad, they're looking for anything. If you even seem like you know where you're going, they are looking for it. Now, it's good, we, I mean, look, I'm gonna just be real. Without calling any names, yeah, there's some content creators promoting some stuff that actually lead to actual manhood direction, but then there's a lot that's not. There's a, and they seem to be the more popular ones. Like I said, I ain't calling any names, but you can just see it. Like some of the men, the men who are promoting some real stuff, you know, they fighting for views while some guys just saying, let's exploit these guys. People checking them out. But then that's juvenile. See, understand something. I've talked about the man, uh, the house of the man. Now, the version I give was introduced by Master Yao and Yamache Morris, the terms he used, but I actually learned that before him from a martial arts master, uh, um, Grandmaster uh, Tenen L. Um, 
I call him Master Ten, Master Tenon. Uh, he actually first introduced the House of the Man because, because it's all based on the basics that in an indigenous society, a man would be presented with. He would learn how to be a warrior. He would learn how to be a warrior. He would learn how to be the eagle who could learn, who could see the great distance. He would learn to be a hunter. And then he would also learn how to be a healer, a slash lover. He would learn, and all of this would be in relation to his position of leadership within a family. He could protect that family. He could see, go ahead and see it. He could, he could go get the resources and he could knock it out the box. But is that taught? How many men out here are really taught to be warriors? And the warrior don't mean necessarily as a physical fighter. How many men are ready to stand up for those that he loves, truly stand up? How many? Seriously. Men ain't taught that. These young men aren't taught that. They ain't taught how to like defend those. Now some might have, might have it in their character naturally or just raised in the right environment with certain uh, spiritual organizations. Or maybe they get lucky and they can join a martial arts, uh, a legitimate martial arts troupe. But most guys, I mean, come on, let's be real. Most young men ain't getting that, you know? Or the think. You got more emotional young men, uh, men period, than probably, you know what, they might have been another time in history where it's been, but right now, many men are just as emotional as women. Shoot, many of the women are more pragmatic now. And what's, what's called, I mean, you know, in fact, it's so bad with that, that if a, you can have a 40 year old man screaming and yelling and all of that and nobody black bats an eye. Instead of being cool, calm and say, okay, this is how we're gonna solve the problem. And the money thing, it's a shame you have a significant amount of men, they really not working. They're not doing the basics. And then, let me be clear before somebody bring in race, that's across all races. And then we know how many men are being a healer to a woman. Not even just being a lover, just a healer. Just healing the people, like doing what it takes to restore them around us. No. And what's happening is because the basics aren't cultivated, because it's already within every man, but it's not cultivated out of men. We, well, we have a lot of chaos now. A lot of chaos, I'm gonna tell you what, society would be more peaceful if we had men, even up to the political level. Even up to the political level, you would have a peaceful society, more peaceful. You still were always gonna have some trouble, but it wouldn't be to the same extent that we have in it now. And the men are looking for, the, the men are looking for direction, that's fair. I try my best to provide something, but you know, in the grand scheme of things, I'm tiny. In the grand, seriously, I got a tiny channel. In the grand scheme of things, I know it's got more subs on, you know, than the average person, average YouTuber, and I'm making money from it. But if you look at a, on a global scale, or even just a Western society scale, because that's where the biggest problems seem to be, um, it's tiny. You got some others, they tiny as well. Because they seem like more of the focus is, okay, who can be more emotional? You know, who can be more emotional? Who can like not have the eagle, not have that hunter, that warrior, and satisfy women or heal the uh, women in your care Psst. or your children, Psst. please. But all we can do, because you know I don't like just talking about stuff, and but it's something to think about. One, but all a man could do, like the men who are standing up out here. Um, even if it touches just a few young men and you show them something, maybe as a coach, a teacher, a uh, YouTube uh, content creator, you know what, that still is better than nothing. We just have to step it up and create a bigger wave. All right? So anyway, that's all I have for today. Y'all want y'all to really think about it, especially the men. I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.